What's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stocked up trading floor. Looking at the market in the short term, it has been marching to new all-time highs quite a bit lately, which is great to see, especially for those longer term portfolios. But as we look at the S&P 500 on a more individual level, we can see that the individual price action for SPY hasn't been all that crazy. For example, we can see by looking at Friday's price action, the market only closed up by 0.06%, which isn't all that crazy. And even at the uh, price action on Thursday, um, the price action just wasn't all that vol driven. Whereas if we look at individual stocks, like let's say Apple or even Nvidia, we can see that sort of price action has been much more momentum filled and vol driven, which is interesting. And that goes hand in hand with just the market we're seeing right now. For example, we continue to see stocks like Nvidia march higher and, uh, provide a lot of bullish support for the market as a whole, whereas when we look at the S&P 500, it is more flat than anything else, and on Friday, around 70% of the market actually fell, so that tells you quite a bit that there's a lot of uh, you know money flowing into certain areas like big tech and AI right now, whereas when you look at other areas of the market, you know considering 70% of the market's down, it shows you that money is kind of flowing out of those areas, which is an interesting thing to keep in mind, but as we get into this week's recap there have been no new swings lately there was one new hybrid play with qualcomm on friday and it wasn't all that looking at qualcomm um, it was uh, showing some weakness intraday on friday but that true bearishness never came in to see a true flush with the stock so that one wasn't all that but as we look at the trading stream the high, the surge plays haven't been like anything all too crazy as of this past week. And, uh, you know, it just goes hand in hand with, let's say, the price action that we're seeing. Whereas if we look at some of the SM bot uh, plays, there have been a handful of good ones. For example, looking at Coinbase in the short term, uh, on Thursday, it had a lot of great price action with some put options with SM bot as, it, as those popped up by 400%. And even as we look at the price action from earlier in the week with SM bot with Apple, there were a lot of great call plays that were called out that popped up by over 300%. And even the day prior to that one, there were even more great Apple call plays uh, called out that rose by around 700%. So um, the price action has been very interesting lately. And, you know, we're really seeing just those few big tech and AI related stocks really carry the market, which is very interesting. But shifting over into the theta trade section, as always, shorting put options are one of the best strategies out there when done correctly. If you have a stock that you're fine owning for the long term and it's at a price or at least close to a price, you'd be fine owning it at. Selling put options is a great strategy as you literally get paid to potentially buy these shares at a low price. So as long as you're willing to hold that stock for the long term, um, this uh, type of strategy can be very advantageous. So definitely check that out. And if you need any help with it, feel free to tag Tom Hunter or myself in the trading floor and we can definitely help you out. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend.